Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of Scandinavia. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So, guys, we're back here in this episode where last episode we integrated uh, the casual Hodensteiners to our empire. So, we now have free cores on these guys, which is awesome, but they were Catholic. That's the only thing that stunk. So, we're going to have to do an entire new Catholic group over here. But, I mean, it's a small price to pay for the fact that we, like, took over and, you know, took over another country without actually having to uh, declare war on them. That was actually pretty nice, and right now what we are dealing with is a very stubborn person, people over here. I'm trying to get military, just trying to get something with these guys so they will not be so mad at me, but they just do not seem to want to do anything, and I really do need to get militaristic range before I go declare war on them, because otherwise... We could potentially we could potentially walk into a situation where I have like no manpower and I would die instantly. That'd be terrible. And let's see, I should have some ships over here. Oh, this is where my ships were. I was like, I should have a small navy somewhere. And let me go send let me go pick up my 11k troops from the colonies to go send to Africa so that um we can go. Yeah. Anyways, we are building quite rapidly. Uh, tech groups are expanding, so no mission selected, oh, I don't have a mission selected. Improved defenses in the Shanti, or get enemy of enemy, which is Spain. Mission win succeeds when I get an alliance with Spain. A mission succeeds when the following criteria has a star for it. So let's just start doing this. So Shanti, the people of Shanti devour, uh, uh, demand a defense, so Shanti. You guys want more buildings, I guess? Is that what you guys are saying? Let's see. I'm gonna need to get the Star Fort level, so let's see. Star Fort, just yeah, just get right there. It's more this is a very simple mission. I love those kind of missions. It's straightforward, not much star nobles worried. You know you know nobles, you guys are definitely taking me off. I'm not gonna deny it. That's like twice I think they've done that. And let's start making cores. And, oh gosh, next one's Faster Colonist. Hmm. Expansionist ideas. I can't wait to get Faster Colonist. That's going to be fun. Because then, Faster Colonist all around the world, and considering my empire is like this big now, will be great. Alright, let's see. Military access from Portugal. Well, right now, Portugal, we don't really like you. I'm just going to be honest. Now, let's see. Do, and my troops load it up, alright? You guys go all the way, go do the gigantic journey, go right here to our Scandinavian ports, and we're gonna go dock you guys up, and we're gonna go destroy the natives. Sadly. Um, yeah. But our, our leader, we actually have a leader right now, so I have to start thinking of who do I want to expand to. Um, you guys still at war with Lithuania? Yes, you guys are. It seems like this war is not gonna end for a very long time, so... Is there anyone I want to invade in this amount of time? Like seriously, is there anyone that would be worth invading? Cause right now we have an entire, well let's see, what is Muscovy doing in there? There's an entire war going on right here and I'm wondering if I could use this to my advantage. Um, I think we have to wait until Austria gets tied up. Cause I think the next move, the next move I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go attack Hansa. Cause, yeah, we need to... I think these guys are the next guys I think I'm going to try to pour inside my country, so I think we need to kind of destroy them next, but we need to kind of wait until the, the Holy Roman Empire is a little bit distracted. And right now they definitely are not. Um, I have no cores on anything else, but yes. Let's see, let's just start, let's see, what are your alliances like? Brunswick, Elise, and the Han, the Hesse. Let's see, the Hans. If I declared war on the Hansa directly, no. I'm not gonna. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight the, uh. I'm not gonna fight the, uh, French. I could deal with a lot of other nations, but I'm not gonna fight the French. Probably including Austria, too, in that. So, no to that. Let's just go to you guys. Declare war randomly, no. And then Austria will protect them. Yes, I know. So, hmm. Should I honestly do that? I'm wondering if I honestly should. I mean, do I really need to do that? Well, I'd honestly have an alliance right here. My, my, 
my allies right here would probably be dealing with Austria very ineffectively, but they'd probably be dealing with Austria. Plus, I do need to expand over here so I can start claiming all the coastline of the Baltics. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. <laughs> they already hate me, so it doesn't even really matter. Okay, so let's see. Influence? No. Fabricate claims is right here. There we go. Let's get... What do we want out of this? Let's try to get the closer colony. The closer... Not colony. Let's get, try to get the closer land first. Domzink. So that then we get a little bit more control over this trade node, which would be pretty nice. I'm not even going to deny that'd be pretty nice to have. And right now, our soldiers over here need to group up. Now that we've all joined together in one gigantic new army. I mean, that army's pretty scary. It's right next to the Hansa, and we're already bigger than the Hansa. And it's not even like... It's not even like... That. <laughs> They're not even that. We could easily destroy them. And apparently there's some cores that people have on me, like the Hansa have a core on me. Um, and all these other places have pores on me. I don't really care. And it seems like I have a Contus Bella against Por the Portuguese to take a colony. Let's see. How effective would it be? Lithuania and Austria. Well, Aust Lithuania is never going to join my side if I do that. Um, the only people... Let's see. Hmm. Taking a colony from them would not necessarily be the best thing in my mind. But let's see. And my ship's almost dead. That's yes they are. So you guys go directly into the colony. And we're going to go do some stuff. A golden era for culture! Yes! Oh, yes, it's a new golden era. Okay. You guys go kill off all these guys. I think I actually need to actually hire my expenses. Wow, I can actually support... Wow. Okay, it seems like I can now support my, uh... My, uh, army f more fully now. So let's just, like, go right there now. We don't need to have it on full maintenance, but we do need to have it on somewhat maintenance. And now since these guys are, you know, gone, I think it's time for you guys to get back on the ships. Let's just get out of here. Okay. There's a Conus Bella. It seems like the Austrians just went to war against the Ottomans. Yes. They just went to war against the Ottomans. Let's see. That should, if I'm correct. Let's see. Let's just see what the sides are, because I think this is... Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. Uh, never mind. I don't think this is going to be a good war for us to enter in on. Because this is going to be a massive slaughter with the Ottoman as well. If I had a call, if I had some diplomatic credit, I might want to play war on the uh, Ottomans right now, but I don't. Um, would this be a good time to go steal some colonies from the Portuguese? I, mean, I do have. Let's see. How powerful are the Portuguese right now? Ledger. Portugal is right here. They have a total of the total amount of manpower they can raise is 41, but the limit is 28. They only have at the most they can raise about 48 troops at most. Compared to us, that's about the size of our infantry. That's not even the size of our full army. So yeah, I think. Hmm. Let's see. What else will we take in this? We probably take this, and we probably take just all the Caribbean. I don't know, just because I'm a jerk. Um, hmm. Would this be worth it? That's all. That's, I'm just thinking of this, guys. Would it be worth it to go right here and the Great British have colonized right there? Well, that kind of stinks. I was hoping to use that to my advantage. Well, let's see. They have alliance with Lithuania. Okay. Lithuania is, I'm pretty sure, tied up with the French War right now. No, they're tied up with the Livonian War. And right now, I can still see all their men. They are in a different tech group than me, so the men would not be. Yeah, I'm way more. I'm way more technological advanced than them, so that would not make a difference. Hmm. They would just. Yeah, I have like three tech levels on them, so that wouldn't make a difference. And defend of the faith. I really should. I get this. Morale to armies. I mean, right before I go to war, I can just do this and then just like go fight anyone that tries to deal with my Protestantism. Okay, and then Portugal... See, it seems like the stacks will be pretty even once this all pans out, but... Maybe what I could do is maybe I could peace out Lithuania and all them before anything happens, and then, you know, like, get all this great. So maybe I could actually keep my stuff right here and, you know, just colonize all of this parts of their land. Hmm. You know, I'm thinking about this. I think it might actually be a good idea. Let's see. Probably get their, uh... Fleet, though. That's the only thing I need to know. So, total amount of fleet. Who has the biggest fleet right now? Portugal has at max 40 ships. Um, 
I'm actually just below them with 40 ships, so they're about the same as me, so they're of no threat of consequence to my empire in terms of ships. So... You know what? Let's do it! Let's go to war with Portugal! <laughs> uh, I think this is about the best time to do it too, um, but first I'm gonna go transfer some of my men over here so that they can, you know, be ready to go take over a lot of this Portugal Caribbean stuff. So then we can have a good control of the Caribbean even more. I mean, I didn't even realize I was going to get control of the Caribbean, but you know what? Now since it's an option, let's do it. <laughs> All right. And by the way, what is this Casas Belli specifically for? Just so I know. Um, take the col colony of Gabon. Gabon. I think it's this. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah, I could easily do that. So yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and they're allied with Lithuania, and they rule over much of Oh, wait a minute. Oops. Never mind. It seems like I'm not going to do that because of the, uh... Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Everyone go back. Go pick up these troops. Yeah. I didn't realize they were guaranteed by Muscovy. They're not, they're not in some kind of... Well, they're at war with no one of importance. Yeah. Yeah, they're in a personal union? What? Oh, no, 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 no. We cannot, we cannot have a Russian empire. That would be crazy. That'd be crazily bad. I mean, seriously, having a Russian Empire all the way inside of all these Caribbean places and a new king already? What the heck is happening with my empire? It's like the third time somebody has just like randomly kicked the bucket. All right, and it's time to get a new advisor. So let's see, fortress defense, national modifier, land maintenance modifier, let's get that. All right, and feudal monarchy. Is there anything I can upgrade to administrative monarchy? Production efficiency, tax modifier. Well, let's see, what is this giving me right now? National manpower bonus, which is pretty nice. Income from vassals. I don't really have any vassals right now. Um, national tax modifier. And. Rules reign until death. Still like that idea, but production efficiency. Maybe what I should save up for is constitutional monarchy. Which will give me a lot more. Let's see, I'm more. See, but my empire is more based on stuff and right now I have a lot of manpower. Considering I can raise 73,000 people on almost a day's notice. It wouldn't be bad and then hmm, I think it also I think this also applies to one of my ideas groups. Because ideas groups. Because I think one of them it's either in oh, not an offensive but it's either an expansionistic or permit causes bellies permit cause against bellies against let's advanced nations. I have to think about that one too. I mean, getting a new. It would make my empire a little bit better. And I mean, we wouldn't be a feudal monarchy anymore. I mean, we'd lose a couple. You know what? The, let's just do it. We'll change those MSC to 46. Let's not do it. <laughs> let's wait. <laughs> I just read that. No. Let's wait until we actually have a good ruler in town. Because right now we still got this whole entire. Oh no, my ruler didn't die, he just got a successor, Christian Ribbling, which is... He's really good with Diplo, yes, but really bad with everything else. That's not necessarily good, but, you know, we need a good diplomatic person right now, seriously. And right now... We are really taking behind the that, but we're, we're really ahead of everything else. So, that's good. And I can honestly claim the mantle... Uh, cause a spell against Pomerania. We got a new self-sustaining colony, that's good. Stop coin that right now. Apparently that used to be Cherokee. Oh no, the Cherokee have a claim on the province. Good job, Cherokee. I don't know why you want to make me mad, but good job. Okay, and then I can also send some more over here. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, and I could honestly go to war with the uh, Aztecs again, so I can make sure to block up this land right here to make sure that no one else can get up here to this like good Aztec land. I could do that too. Hmm, there's so many possibilities guys, I'm thinking of this, and I'm still trying to think of a way to get this um, relationships up, but I don't think they're going to be able to do it. I just don't think they're going to, like, say yes to it. Unless they actually start improving relationship with me, I don't think it's actually going to work. <laughs> okay, so... Oh gosh, we have a lot of armies. <laughs> like, I just realized we have about four armies of, of at least 16 power. And then like one army of six over here in the colonies, which is I guess the I guess this is the army that's guarding my entire borders. Huh. 
And it seems like there's an entire war is going on. Cores, cores, cores. I love cores. Let's see if there's any more cores I need to do. Let's see, nope. And I got some new missionary, new maintained roots. Enemy of Ebony, protect the heat. Our brethren in Gabon, our religious brethren in Gabon are being cruelly persecuted. So. So, what? Wait, is Gabon a... It's Protestant? Oh gosh, that almost makes me... It's almost like I have to declare war on them, because it's like... Well, they're at war with Burgundy right now, well how big is Burgundy? It's decent sized. Who are their alliances? Maybe they got some of their alliances off? No. Hmm. I have to think carefully about this, because I don't think... Well, Lithuania, how strong are you guys right now? You guys are still at war with the Livonian Order. Um... Maybe I could piece them out really quickly. Um... Maybe. Let's see. Let me think. Let's see, would they- I, I'm probably guessing they would not join me in this, but... I've got two reasons to go take them over, though. Two definite reasons. Colony of Gabon will probably cost me less, but then, but then stupid- Ah. I hate you, Muscovy. Only you guys were tied up in a bigger war right now. Yeah, you guys are tied up in a very tiny war. Would so go attack that. I mean, that is... <sighs> Seems like I'm just gonna have to accept the fact I cannot fight Portugal right now. Because of their alliances. Let's get the ducats. Skelane has finally been converted. Which is good. That means we can go convert some more places. Go get some more religious faith, and it seems like Hodenstein. It seems like those places aren't gonna finish. Really? They have too big of a tax modifier. Oh yeah, they would get zero, 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 zero. Yeah, it seems like those places are a little bit too big. So maybe what I'll do is go. Let's go build some temples here. <laughs> that might help. That might help the conversion a little bit. Okay, but let's go start converting Vilgod. And I think we have no more Catholicism in our land, guys. Yeah, well, in natural in natural Scandinavia, we have no more Protestants, Protestants in our land. That is awesome. And it seems like the Russians have expanded all the way over there. That's kind of scary. Yes, no more Protestantism. Yes. Oh, good. And we're colonizing over here, which is even greater. Okay, oh, so let's see. Is this colony going to finish yet? Not yet. It's still going to take a couple of turns. I'm just going to look around the map. This is like... I so want to go. No, could we? We could not. <sighs> I'm in honestly debate mode because I think we could probably capture them. It's just. <sighs> See, I don't think I could deal with both Livonian and Muscovy. I could not deal with that. I could maybe deal with the Livonians, but the Livonians would have to join in on my side, which I don't think they would do. Am I correct in this? My allies would join in. Bohemia, yes, but Lithuania, no, just as I thought. They would not be able to join in, and you guys are really friendly towards me, but you guys are really weak, so it would not be a good alliance. But everyone else hates me. Well, let's see. You guys are hostile to me. Uh, Britain, do you guys still hate me? No, you guys are neutral. Well, maybe, hmm, maybe if the British were helping me, maybe I might stand a chance. That's a maybe, though. Actually, that's a really gigantic maybe. So, maybe no. And... Hmm... That just stinks. And it's all because I want to go to war with Swahili. This is all for that stupid war for Swahili and their massive amounts of wealth. That seems like a stupid reason for all this. But you know what? This is this is EU4. You do a lot of diplomatic stuff. Oh gosh, and it seems like I have a lot of money now, so I'm going to uh, gonna go expand some things. So let's see, what can I do? To get some more let's try to keep maxing out. Revolutionary risk. Let's see, is there any major places of revolutionary? I don't think so, so I don't need... I don't see why I would need to. Revolt risk. A little bit in Vensburg and a little bit in Nyland, but... I honestly don't... They don't seem big enough for me to really want to do, so I'm just gonna do maybe this. Uh, manpower bonus, recruitment-wise. Let's finish, let's finish out the armory over here before we start working on all that. Finish out the armories, and then we'll start dealing with all this. You guys... And I can't build yet there. That kind of stinks. <sighs> Gosh. I really wish that. Like if, I'm going to have to really seriously figure out how I'm going to like colonize. Or not colonize. I'm going to convert these guys to our culture. 
because we're gonna need to figure it out. Hmm. Now Goose does reform. I keep getting this event like every couple years. This is like really awesome. Keep getting me more. Keep getting me more money. And oh my gosh, if only you guys were. If only you guys were not in a personal union with Muscovy. I don't even know how that came about, but seriously. That's going to be scary if, Mus if Muscovy somehow owns this. You know, actually, wait a minute. This actually would be pretty dang bad if they own this. Oh, wait, what the heck? How'd they get all the way over there? I can't even colonize over here. How'd they get over there? Do they have an alliance with Mus... Let's see. Uh, diplomatic Conquest. Wayne Conquest. Granted add military access. Add military access through... No, they don't have a military access with any of these countries, so how do you get over here? Hmm. I guess once you get this land, I guess then you can be able to colonize over there. So maybe we still do have hope for over here colonization. Okay, if not anything, we see fit to raise prestige or we lose a lot of ducats. We can lose a lot of ducats, I don't really care. Uh, let's see, now we got all this land. <laughs> We've completely blocked up the British, and now we got all this land, and... Yeah, I think that's going to be an episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.